What up, man? It's your big brother, K. We ain't know. This is like the age-old question. Um, that's like the chicken and the egg. Um, whose fault is it if you sign a bad deal? If you get caught up with a bad contract and you, you sign it and now you messed up and complaining and, oh, man, they messing over me. Oh, man, I can't get out of it. Oh, man, they doing me wrong. They stealing my money. Um, whose fault is that? And it's been a lot of different opinions that have circulated over the years because naturally people would say where well, they'll look at the um, the uh, the company, whether it's a record label, uh, a sports team, whatever, they'll say, well, man, you know, it's, it's their fault because they, they messed over that guy. They suckered him into a bad deal and, you know, this and that. And, you know, you hear a lot of that. Then you hear other people they they may try to think it through a little further and say, well, no, nah, you know, if you sign a bad deal, that's your fault because you should do your due diligence in terms of um, getting a lawyer and uh, getting somebody that can, can look over the paperwork and determine whether or not this deal is the right deal for you and you fail to do that. Hey, man, that's on them. I mean, that's not on them. That's on you. So you have that school of thought. Then you got the people that are somewhere in the middle that just will put the blame on, on both sides. Um, a lot of it has to do with where an individual is, who, who's the signer of the deal, where that person is at the time that they come into the deal. If you catch somebody at 17, 18, 19, 20 years old, they green just coming into the game and they are so excited about the opportunity to be a part of something that they believe to be big or something that they believe to be life changing and a, and a boost to their career. Then, yeah, then they are more susceptible to get got. They're more susceptible to get tricked and caught up into a bad deal because uh, I've seen situations where people who, who there have been people around certain people that have tried to warn them and say man you know be careful man don't just rush into this man hold on wait man get somebody to look at this and and they like nah oh, man i mean i gotta sign man i'm trying to get this deal you know they they just so ready to jump in that even when uh the suggestion to to get it checked out comes to them they ignore it and they still do what they want to do anyway so that's just one school of thought. Then you have other people who come in a little later. Maybe they've already been through some things. Maybe they've already kind of seen how the game goes and they make a conscious decision to say, well, nah, I got to take my time and, and make sure that this is right. Because, man, look, every deal, every contract uh, is different, man. In, in certain situations, now the foundation might be the same, but there's always a little twists and turns in each one that may not be in, in another one and it's so uh, dangerous because there may be one or two elements of the deal even if the deal is bad there may be one or two elements of a deal that if you can get those to go in your favor it could change everything for you down the line for the better it may be a clause that protects you against this to where hey man 15 years from now, you still are in control of that. Just whatever it, whatever it might be. Um, I think the mistake that we make, because to answer the question, it's a little bit of both. A little bit of both are to blame. Because in 2024, there's no way, I don't care how old or young you are, I don't care how new to the game you are, at this stage, there's enough um, documentation, there's enough history out there, there's enough examples out there where we've seen people get caught up in bad contracts and bad situations to where it should raise an antenna the second you hear the word sign something, the second you hear the word contract, it should raise an antenna to go, well, no, I don't want to end up like that guy. I don't want to end up like that person because these bad deals can literally literally man destroy your life 
because they can set you back so far. You can get locked in them so long and so um, intricately twisted and tangled in these deals because the the people who construct uh, the contracts and the paperwork, man, they're so wise and so knowledgeable in how to make everything work in their favor that if you're not careful, man, it won't be just a one or two year uh, punch that you got to take. You know, it could affect you for a long, 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 long time, all the way down to the ownership of your own name and likeness and all that, man. You get to a point where you don't even have um, ownership over that and you can't even use it anymore. And that's what you came in with. So, yeah, it's a combination of both. But here's the thing that we have to all make sure that we do, we that we don't do. We got to make sure that we are not stupid enough to um, think that these companies are automatically going to uh, treat us with respect and approach us and, 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 and deal with us with integrity. That's what I was searching for. You can't assume. I don't care if it's a multi-billion dollar company that you say, well, nah, man, these people are established, man. These people have been around for years and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not worried about that. They, they, this is a reputable institution. You, you can't assume nothing, man. Because a lot of times they became that multi-million dollar, billion dollar company because of the fact that they have scammed and swindled and, and, and mistreated uh, the people on their label, the people on their team or whatever. They become that because of the hustle. So you can't just look at what they are and where they are and say, well, no, nah, man, there's no way they got, you know. You have to not assume that they're going to treat you fair. You have to come into uh, negotiations um, in a mind of competitiveness, a competitive mode. You got to come in like, hey, man, this is semi-war. <laughs> it's, it's like war. It's like I'm, I'm coming in ready to, to, to bang it out, not physically, but business-wise, to business banging, to, to, to get to make sure that I come out with something fair, and don't let the um, the attraction of wanting to be on so bad just rush you into signing something, because that 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 excitement of being on the big label and all that man and being in the circles with all that wears out fast when you ain't making no money. It wears out real quick. You'll be hyped up on that and hopped up on that probably the first couple of months or so. Oh, man, guess who I saw today, man? I was at a party, man. I was in the same room with such and such. Oh, man, I I was I went to the label the other day and such and such was there. Man, I couldn't believe it, man. I was backstage with the... That wears out after a while because you start to see him. Well, man, all these cats, they, they seem to be doing all right, and I'm not. And the same people who smiled and shook your hand and welcomed you in and, hey, man, congratulations, welcome to the team and all that, you know, that smile not going to be on their face when you come in and say, well, man, I'm just, man, my, 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 check, my check ain't right, my check ain't, you know. But, again, you can only, you know, you have to be accountable for what you sign. <laughs> you got to be accountable for what you sign. So the way to, 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 to make sure that you don't get caught up in that is to go out and get somebody to look over your paperwork, somebody that's for you, somebody that you hire, that you that that that's working for you and your best interest that can tell you, well, this is wrong. Nope, see, look, they trying to get this. Oh, no, you should never get this. No, this is too much. Nope, this is too little. And then you work from there and you negotiate from there. And if it doesn't work out, then you shake hands and, and move on to somewhere else. But the answer to the question is, um, you know, we think that uh, these companies should automatically have this, this this morality about themselves and they that's just not realistic. So you have to be a protector of your own interests and, and come in and negotiate from a point of strength, as the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan said, and, you know, go for what you know. And if it doesn't work out, don't sign. Move around. 
Alright, man, it's your big brother, K. We know I will catch y'all later on with another one. Peace.